Good morning, everyone. Today, my presentation title is a case study on Mandarin text to speech. COVID-19 has forced a shakeup in the traditional learning process, with a lot of on-site teaching switching over to an online equivalence. Fortunately, IT development has prepared web services and platforms to enable successful online teaching and learning processes during the pandemic. This case study focuses on research changing the functionality and effectiveness of Mandarin text-to-speech and TTS MP3. Text-to-speech technology is as standard as modern speech-to-text technology. The first speech recognition toy dating back a century to the 1920s was Radiorex, a cellular dog who came out from his base when he heard and recognized his name. This toy was the first here recognized response example in technology. During the 1950s, the Audrey system hit a goal in speech recognition technology by enabling speech recognition technology to recognize numerical digits from 0 to 9. Some time later, IBM created the Shoebox, a system that could recognize questions and answer them, using 16 English words, including digits from 0 to 9 along with command words such as plus, minus, and total. Speech recognition has evolved since the last century, involving responses to words, numbers, actions, and commands to add convenience to daily life. Mandarin is spoken as a syllable and there are just 1,300 phonetically distinguishable syllables from 411 base syllables and 5 tones. Although Mandarin can be streamlined to be as simple as possible, the characteristic spatialization of this language because it's an issue to solve in MTTS technology. For this reason, researchers have built up a waveform table of 411 syllables to generate prosthetic information such as speech, such as pitch contour, energy level, initial duration, and final syllabus. The MTTS system requires all text to convert into phonemes sequences, known as the pin-in system, to enable correct pronunciation in the written form of the Mandarin language. According to the Ifenyi Ikena Izuna, TTS is a technology that converts written input to spoke output via synthetic speech generation. There are various techniques used for speech synthesis, straightforward voice recording and playback on demand, speech segmented into 30 to 50 phonemes, fundamental linguistic units and the reconstructed into a fluent speech pattern. Approximately 400 DF phones use. The research has three objectives to investigate the effectiveness of using TTS in Mandarin language learning, to learn about the lack of TTS in Mandarin language learning, to better understand the difference between machine reading and human reading. The main research questions posed is what improvement can be achieved in TTS? Every subject including native Mandarin languages, language speakers use a smartphone's apps to create the recording. The TTS from the TTS MP3 apps gave a free text-to-speech recording via web series. The method using is a WavePad sound editor which is, uh, was the primarily used to analyze and observe the spectrum of the recording. A WavePad sound editor was used to perform a spectrum comparison of the 10 recordings and the following spectrum recordings are cut into similar lengths, 
fixed size boxes to the comparison simpler. The TTS MP3 recording had the same tone in all sentences. Subject A had almost the same tone as the TTS MP3, while the remaining subjects varied the tone according to sentence meaning. The TTS MP3 mode remained constant unlike the reading performed by human subjects. The average volume from the TTS MP3 recording remained stable while that of the human subject varied in volume between words as well as sentences. TTS MP3 was unable to detect the keywords in each sentence and could not stress any keywords throughout the 10 to 10 sentence reading process. The native speaker stressed the keywords in each sentence since the subject clearly understood the meaning, while subject 1, 4, 5, 6, and 8 performed well in re with regards to keyword stressing, subject 3 and 7 did not stress like the keywords so well. TTS MP3 read well but did not seem to connect the words with regards to meaning. Subjects 3 and 4 show the strongest connection when reading from from words to words, the remaining subjects were somewhere in the middle. The TTS MP3 read everything at the same speed while the human subject varied from fast to slow during the reading process. MTTS is able to produce high quality natural sounding synthetic speech. This is also a good indication that MTTS is developing well and is mature enough to be very viable in function production. TTS MP3 is a human sounding form of reading which is recorded syllable by syllable and words by word. When text is converted into speech, the reading machine combines all the syllables and words to form and read out the sentences. This system is not able to convey human emotions like joy, sadness, frustration, excitement, and so on during the reading process, which is one of the weaknesses found in TTS technology. For example, a sentence which might be obviously scary, angry, happy, funny, or sad to a human reader who understands the language will not translate into the machine read version. Since the machine is simply converting text into spoken language without adding any emotion, feeling or mood to it, as well as maintaining the same tone, the machine uses the same speech, which has been programmed to complete the whole reading task instead of varying the speed based on the contents of the task. Subject 8 performs in a similar way to this since this subject did not understand the meaning of the sentences, thereby reading like a machine. This volume The volume and loudness were controlled with the TTS MP3 to remain constant. Unlike the human readers, humans tend to vary volume and loudness from words to words depending on the bacteria being read. Conclusion, the TTS Mandarin system has been able to produce natural, fluent synthetic speed sounds since the 1990s. However, the TTS Mandarin language system and technology has some elements which could be improved to match the nature of human reading behavior. For example, in the Mandarin language learning class, the teacher is required because the learner must learn how to read sentences with the appropriate mood, behavior, and enunciation. TTS systems are unable to convey human emotion and mood and therefore cannot teach in the same way. Also, TTS systems read everything using a single tone and speed setting. Although humans vary, vary both tones and speed depending on the subject matter they are reading. 
the TTS system plays an influential role in the learning to read process. This is certainly helpful for those who are weak in reading and it is also free to charge to use. In conclusion, the TTS system is a solid resource for self-learning for the purposes of language improvement and revision. The TTS system offers accurate pronunciation in standard sentences. Mandarin language learners can use TTS to listen to grammatically correct sentences spoke like a native Mandarin speaker. However, elements such as emotion are missing from TTS technology, setting it apart from human nature. Ultimately, the robotic nature of a TTS system can prove helpful when learning Mandarin vocabulary, grammar, and sentence structure. But the additional touches of the conveying emotion and the mood are missing from this method of learning. Okay, that's all. Thank you.